the only thing that we I would have a little bit of an issue with with execration is they only have one stun. Well, yeah. We're gonna try and uh, make a run for the Monkey King in the mid lane here. They do not have another spawn spoil so There is no mana left on LSD, but it doesn't matter with the haste rune. Flashing yeah, now she's doing really well. So she's got a couple, oh, a lot of experience work. advantage. Has caught him out here inside of the cogs. The uh, the Urshaki is stuck here. The light tracker ray comes out as well. They don't have a dragon slave, but they don't need it. Some fights against uh, Alpha Red. So they throw out the dust here, they find the clicks as well, they can't use any of these projectiles because of the click strafe, they get the LSA anyway, so it doesn't matter, the Venge pays with her life, but the spec as well as the leader, they're coming in hot, they have a light strike array as well, oh they miss the cogs, so they miss the light strike array as well, and Earthshaker just gets to walk away for free. And who they do use the Yule Scepter out onto the Broodmother, Life Tracker Ray hits out, but it doesn't matter, they're gonna use the Haunt, trying to see if they can get on top of this Broodmother, the Global Silence comes out, the Monkey King's man moding, gets enough now, so they take out the Broodmother, they lose the leader on the back side of the map, and take out the Pugner as well, so this is a fight on two fronts, they're gonna go onto the Clink, see if they can fight here, the Monkey King has a lot of Jinku stacks out, do they have another stun, they catch him inside of the cog, so they don't need a stun anymore, the Monkey King's just gonna stand there and fight, he's getting quite low, the Earthshaker with the Echo Flam, doesn't do enough, it does, just for now, LSD taking out the Monkey King with the spiders, but that's a 4 for 4 right now. Spectre's the last one alive. They saw, the first one saw, they already have one in the pit uh, when they first entered the pit. Well, the clock, here's the one that's getting found out. The Brimble is just going to walk over the top of these cogs. They do get the swap out and dip away from the clock, but the Vengeance is going to pay for her life. The Global Silence comes out on top. Silencer almost dies, but he gets a nice little uh, use of the Shadow Amulet there. They find the Lina out on the silence. The Brimble is doing quite a lot of work without that big AB, though. Just be quite careful of where she goes. The Light Tracker Ray comes out and hits only onto the spiders, and the Broodmother's just walking around, dancing around these cliffs. Monkey King, he can't do anything. He's getting kited inside of his own Wukong's command. Pugna sitting here on the side. He does have the life drive. He gets the sucky sucky from the bounds of the bottom side of the cliff. And the whole clockwork hook shot hits onto the cliffs on the sidelines. So I think they might get a little consolation prize here of the Bone Fletcher. But they lose three big heroes here. The Spectre doesn't die. But they're not going to try and go for about half HP now on Roshan. Oh, they found clockwork. He's sitting here. Oh, they're going to use the Spectre Horn as well. Come in. BKB used out by the Brutus. So I think the Corporate is going to be the first one to pay for the price. BKB adds a uh, Blade Melt as well as the DD here onto the Spectre. She gets decrept around. Silas is just zipping around these trees. The uh, Monkey King is coming oh. in again. A bit more Kale. As well as the Guna Bait on top. The double kill there for the Spectre. This is exactly what you want. If you're part of Alpha Red, they take out the Pugner as well. So they're That's saving Roshan. They get four kills on top of it. With the uh, the Earthshaker is as well. They're sitting on top of the Brimble. They throw the hook shot out onto the Earthshaker in the back lines. He can't use his Echo Slam here. This is the worst position to be in the DD Spectre on top of the Earthshaker again. They have to use the BKB here on the Brimble. And Sashmal Hunger comes out as well. Trying to man mode, just ducking in between both of these heroes. The uh, Silencer comes out with the uh, the Glimmer Cape, but he gets taken down anyways. The BKB from the Monkey and they're going high ground here on the side of Alpha Red. And I think they just need to duck out for now. Ward as well, oh. doing so much work. They hook shot out onto the earth shaker, the four stuff as well, gets himself out, but the Klinks is trying to do what he can, but they take out the uh the Ventress Word on the sideline here by the Klinks. The blade mail has to be used from the clockwork. Not Klinks oh, on the sideline, but in comes the Brimmer, the BKB is galore, coming out from absolutely everybody. They don't have a global science anymore, the insatiable humming comes out, but he can't man fight this uh, monkey king. They have to get outside of the Wukong's command. There's five heroes here, but they can't step inside of the ring. They come inside of the ring now. Finally, when they all feel like they're strong enough to decrypt, saves the earth shaker just at the end. Unexpected. Well, this Pugna, the blink forward here from the Lena, catches him out with the Yusef. He has no way to save himself here, and the Laguna Blade, bam, takes him out straight away. This Vengeance Street getting caught out. The Global Science comes oh. out as well. They have no way of responding to this. So the good disengage there from the Global Science. There still is the Spectre Haunt. They're coming out, hook shot out onto the Clinks. The Wukong Swinger dropped underneath the Shrine. The Ventral Spirit, beautiful TP in. They take out the Silencer as well. They take out the Clinks on the sidelines. This Spectre is going absolutely ham right now. Walking forward with this Radiance out onto the Earthshaker. He has Echo Slam, but you don't want an Echo Slam a solo Spectre. It's not the way you want to use this. Jump forward here by the Monkey King. They have no Boundless Strike, but look at the look range at the on that jump. Oh, the Ancient Creep! <laughs> Found himself out of Clockwork. Oh, the Hook oh, Shot! The hook shot. He thought he was going to go out onto the Earthshaker, but he catches himself a Clinks instead. Out comes the, uh, the Spectre Haunt as well, but this Clinks is getting extremely low. There's a gem out on the Spectre as well. Doesn't matter. Global Science used to what? They're just going to keep coming forward here on the side of uh, Alpha Red. So they take out two heroes straight away. They haven't had to use the Aegis either. It's the Blade Mail back now. So he's just going to keep hitting in. 
So it's this go time for David. In comes the other flight, out comes the Echo Same as well, but the swap comes out straight away from the Ventral Spirit. The Spectre going on to the backside. He doesn't use Haunt just yet, so he's still in silence up, so they haven't used it straight away. But the Wukong's command zoning out all the heroes from Execration. They've lost two straight away. The Clinks goes straight away. They use the Spectre Haunt, see if they can get on top of the Broodmother, but they're just going to come forward. They take out the Silencer straight away. That's three heroes. No buyback left for them. The Broodmother has to waddle back to base. No HP left for her, and we, you know, we're talking about the, the Echo Sam trying to get the kills, but it doesn't look like it's worth it at this point with that swap. Can Execration hold their high ground? Doing quite well with the Decrep. But the swap comes out now onto the Pugman. They're going to come forward. They use the uh, Chief's Guards on top of the Out comes the Wukong Sea Man. They're just going to oh, fight. There's go. so much stuff going on right now. They do have another buyback from the Ventral Spirit. They're going to come in. The Spectre trying to get on top of this Cliff. They do take him out. 80 seconds. Pugman's doing what he can. He's getting burned alive by that Radius. The Global Science comes out on top. So the Seaman's Pugman can stand there and fight, but he can't. Up onto the high ground. Oh, the leader comes in with the Yule Scepter. With the... Uh, oh, no. Almost uses the good way, but the the, uh, the nullifier comes out and kills the Ventral Spirit on the side. She's dead, but the Clinks is dead for even longer. It's looking no, really no. bad here for Execration. The clockwork stuck between three heroes, but he kills them both. It doesn't matter. The Spectre's doing so much work. The Echo Slam comes out, but it's oh. onto a Blade Mail. The Spectre with the perfect timing, and the only one that he's left alive is the Broodmother. It's Red, they're GG. just going to go for tier 4s, and it is GG called there by Execration. And Alpha Red, with this second pick, Spectre, push themselves forward in the Convicts Pro League. Oh, beautiful. This is definitely very...